Hi people, welcome to another tech session. Uh, I've been requested to cover the tune What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. Just doing the usual stuff, um, I've bought the track. I'm now going to add a stereo track and uh, pull in the original. So that's going to be on the desktop and we're just going to have a quick listen to the tune. That's the first part of the operation is just to listen to the tune, figure out what we're gonna what we're gonna do with it. So um, let's play it. Okay, so pretty popular tune. Um, I mean, I'm quite looking forward to this because obviously it's got James Jameson on, the bass line is great. It's, you know, it's one of those things that can be, um, to a certain degree, modernised, uh, but still retain some of the original vibe. So that, that's going to be pretty much the brief with this one. Okay, so first things first, I want to find the right tempo for this. So what I would normally do is find the, find the downbeat. So if I go to the beginning of the session now and I find a downbeat, which is obviously that big spike, that's going to be the downbeat. Let's have a listen to that. Um, there she is. Oh, I'm going to go. So that first bass note, gone. There is my downbeat. So all I've got to do now really is on my transport panel, find a click tempo. Uh, and I'm thinking it's going to be around about 100. It's going to be around about there. So let's click that, push C on the keyboard, bring in the click. Okay, so that's that click is um, is racing ahead. So we're going to bring that back to, let's go 95 on it. Okay, so we've gone the other way now. Let's go 97. Uh, let's make sure that we've got the spike right on the downbeat, which it isn't at the moment. And again, it's a slip, so we'll put it there. Um, and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, now you can always check this because obviously your grid is going to tell you where those downbeats are. So, again, the, the Marvin track is getting there and beating the click to the right on the race here so I'm going to go back to 96 see if I can get that one let's go 97 again okay I'm happy with that so I mean at the end of the day this is a really you know there's no that these guys do not play to clicks I mean this is all done with feel and in real time so, you know, we cannot retain any, you know, this is going to drift slightly one way or another. Um, so for me, because I'm doing it uh, in a modern way, this will be clicked. You know, I'll have the opportunity to um, shift things around, loop things, uh, move stuff about later in the arrangement. So for me, having um, <clears throat> an approximation of a tempo is important to retain the feel, but I, I am going to click this one. I'm not going to do this in real time. So um, I'm happy with that. Next step is to just learn the song. I mean, I will go through this now and I will figure out by just carving it up into all, you know, bits and pieces of color and stuff. And I'll probably name this, uh, you know, I'll probably go uh, first first here, this first orange bit, and then the red bit might be a link. Uh, the next bit might be uh, another verse. So this will end up being a, a kind of a technicolor, um, you know, thing where, well, the red will appear again because it might be two links in it. So as I'm playing along to this, and chances are I'm probably going to put the, uh, the bass line down first on this, which is uh, because, like I say, it's kind of all hanging on that. I can then easily navigate through the arrangement. So this is like the equivalent of a piece of sheet music for me. Um, I'll see these colors coming up and then I will change accordingly. Okay, so that's what I do. I'll always have the original up there, even though this, this thing might get up to God knows how many tracks. We don't know yet. This is the beginning of it. So, you know, like I say, this is important because it's kind of setting the vibe for the whole thing. If we would kick off 
wrong tempo and then later on we might go oh you know it's too fast doesn't know what that feels so it's kind of important learn your arrangement um play along with it get used to it and then like i say i'll come back with you and we'll have a look at putting the first rhythm track down which in this case will be the bass line i think okay guys thanks for listening